Hello and welcome to today's class. In this class, we'll consider the concept of um, trigonometry equations, right? So, um, if you're interested in learning trigonometry from crash, I have created a full tutorial course on trigonometry, which you can access the full tutorial course, checking the link or perhaps click, um, clicking on the link you see above here. I'll drop a link above here so you can click on the link. It will take you to a full tutorial course on trigonometry right from crash are you there so let's look at the concept of trigonometry equation so when it comes to trigonometry equation the task is quite simple so it's more of like understanding the idea of your quadratic equation right so i'll pick a question such that i'll pick a question such that i will look uh, i'll just do a quick revision on the concept of quadratic equation so as to ease the understanding of this uh, concept here. Let's say, for instance, I have um, x squared um, plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. This is a what? A quadratic equation. Why? Because the highest power of x here is 2. That, that becomes what? A quadratic equation. Right? So how do you solve this? Using There are several methods we use to solve quadratic equation, right? We have the factorization method, Complete square method, uh, what are the formula method? So let's try to use factorization and let's see what we get. For factorization, we said this is plus 5x, Abby. So the, the idea is that if I combine this x and this 6 together, that becomes 6x squared, right? Multiply 6 by x squared, becomes 6x squared. The tax now is that for this 6x squared, yeah, I'll look for two numbers that if I multiply them together, I'll have 6x squared. All right if i add them up i'll have plus five so the tax becomes what um a six x a positive six s minus one x observe that sorry observe that if i have um plus six times minus one hang on okay sorry there's a minus sign here please a minus sign here please all right look up if i combine um x squared minus six x here I'll have a minus 6s squared, right? So for me now, if I if I ha if I multiply x plus 6s times minus 1s, we give minus 6s squared. True. If I combine plus 6s minus 1, we give plus 5x. So the tax now is that I'll have x squared plus 6x minus 1x. Next up, minus 6 being equal to 0. So from here now, I have x squared plus 6x minus 1x minus 6 equal to 0. So the tax now is simple. I will group this in twos. So I'll have um, x squared plus 6x. I have this man here. This is a minus sign, minus 1x minus 6. I have this being equal to 0, right? From here, I can see x is common in between these two. So bring out 1x into what? x plus 6 x times x, x squared, plus, plus, x times 6, 6x. Next up, minus, what's common here? Just as 1, into x plus 6. Minus 1 times x, minus x, minus 1x, Abby. Minus plus, minus, 1 times 6 is 6. So it being equal to 0. So my answer here becomes two things. This and this are the same, Abby. Bring 1 out, x plus 6. Next up, I'll pick out this x, and what? minus one so it becomes my two root for this quadratic equation by the way if you want uh, to understand this um um indirectly i'll drop a link to this um tutorial on quadratic equation in the description of this video right so to further um, understand the in-depth of this concept by the way let's try to prove this uh, perhaps solve this trigonometric equation how do i solve this very simple tax observe that um, for my quadratic equation, I let have square. So in, in this case now, I'm having a square here, right? So the tax line is that I can express this one here in terms of what quadratic equation. Now I'm seeing sine x cos x. I can't really solve it this way. I must make them uniform. I'm seeing x x. They are x x. I can solve it. But in this case here, they are sine and cos. It cannot work. I have to take this sine squared x what to cos x. So mind you, at this point now, take a recall. Recall that from our last class, we said that sine square, 
x that I've said, like I use theta and I use x to the same thing sine squared x plus cos squared x equal to 1 if I want to I can say sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equal to 1 to the same thing the tax now is that I'm saying sine, uh, sine squared x here I want to make this on subject so I'll have that sine squared x now is equal to this one minus this one because it's minus what cos squared x so the tax is now anyway i see sine squared x i'll replace it as what one minus what cos squared x so replace this one as being this value so i'll have from here i'll have two now into what sine squared x that becomes what the one minus cos squared x i have this one here next up minus this is a five cos x plus one equal to zero so what's the next parity here my next task now is to expand true. I'll use this true to expand this bracket. So I'll have 2 minus 2 cos squared x. True or false? It's true. 2 times 1 is 2. Minus minus 2 times this is what? 2 of this. So next up, minus 5 cos x plus 1 equal to 0. Well, these are in course now. It makes sense. So I'll make this one here come out first. I know I, um, the task now is your square should come out first. The one of the highest part should come out first. So for me, I'll have minus 2 cos squared x. Are you there? Next up, minus 5 cos x. Observe, 2 plus 1 gives what the 3. That becomes a plus 3 being equal to 0. But in mathematics, it's not proper for your um uh, for your expression that's having the highest part to be negative. So if I'm having a negative sign like this now, I can solve this in this way. I have to what? Make this a positive sign. How? I will multiply through here by what? Minus. So I'll bring out a minus into, repeat this thing here, minus 2 cos squared x minus 5 cos x plus 3. I'll be there. Being equal to what? 0. Minus minus will not give plus now. So I'll have a what? A positive what? 2 cos x, sorry, cos squared x. Next up, Minus, minus, we give what? Plus 5 um, cos x. Next up, um, minus plus, we give what then? Minus 3 being equal to 0. Observe this form now. Sorry. Observe this form and this form now. They're somewhat similar. Are you there now? So the tax line is quite simple. I'll combine these two and three together. Are you there? So if I combine 2 times 3, that will give what then? 6. So what are the numbers that I can multiply together? You give me 6. If I add them up, you give me plus 5. That becomes what they observe. This becomes 2 cos square x. Are you there? Next up, plus 5 cos x. Sorry, plus 6. Rather. Plus 6 cos x minus cos x. Look up, please. Look up. I replace plus 5 cos x as these two values. Why? Because plus 6 minus 1, we give what the a plus 5. That's number 1. Number 2 is that if I multiply plus 6 times minus 1, we give what the a what? Minus 6. True? So I have this one here, uh, plus 3 being equal to 0. At this point, what's the next step? You said grouping. You group these two, group these two. Similarly, I'll group these two, right, in two. So I'll have, I'll have uh, 2 cos squared t, sorry, perhaps, x plus 6 cos x i have this one here minus this one gives cos x plus 3 being equal to 0 at this point what comes to mind factorizing cos is common here cos is common here be i can see 2 and 6 being got 2 cos x so, sorry yes i'll be got 2 cos x into if i divide 2 cos x by this i will, I will let what a cos x. Are we now? Cos x times cos x is cos squared x with these two. So I have plus 2 divided by 6 is what? 3 ab. It becomes 3. Multiply 2 times 3 with this cos x. That becomes 6 cos x. So minus, minus. What's common here? Of course, nothing. So bring out 1 into repeat what is here. That becomes cos x plus 3. What, what do we mean? Observe that minus 1 times cos x minus cos x. Minus plus, um, hang on.
All right. Minus plus is minus. So. All right, I'm coming. Hang on. Minus cos x ab. Okay. Minus plus should give what? A minus sign. Are we there? I'm coming. This is cos x is common in these two. Bring out bring this cos x out with these two. Two times this with this. We give two cos squared x. Next up, plus plus. This will give this, right? Minus the what's common here? Nothing is common. Bring out one, right? Minus one. Minus one times cos x is minus cos x. Are you there? Next up, minus one. Um, what will I have here that will make sure that will give me a positive sign? That's minus. So I have minus here. So it means that minus one minus minus one times cos x minus cos x minus minus is plus, right? So minus one times three is what? Uh, plus three. So being equal to what there? Being equal to zero. Are we there? Are we there? But the tax is that, look up, the tax is that my, look at it, I have x plus 6, x plus 6, must be always this, must, it must be always the same, right? So you look at this, it's not, it's not different. I'm having cos x plus 3, cos s minus 3. Something is wrong somewhere, right? Something is wrong somewhere. But I can't put minus here, right? I can't put minus here. This is, okay, look up, look up, look up. It's a minus 3. Uh -huh. It's a minus 3 here. Yeah. I put plus 3, please. So it's a minus 3 here. Yeah. A minus 3 is here, please. Uh, what there? Here yeah, because what? A minus 3. Are you there? So yeah, this, this, this is our normal plus, Abby. Plus minus is... Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. So yeah, look up. I've replaced the value of minus minus. Minus here too, Abby. So we said, what's coming here? Minus 1, Abby. Minus 1 times cos x is minus cos x. Minus times what there? Okay. Plus is what? Minus, Abi. So I have this one here. So this becomes my expression. So for me now, my answer becomes what? This and this are the same thing, Abi. Bring one out. That's cos x plus 3. Are we there? Then pick out this one. That's 2 cos x. Next up, a minus 1 being equal to 0. Are we there? So at this point now, I'll pick this one individually. Equal to 0. Pick this one equal to 0. So what do we get? I'll have cos x plus 3 being equal to 0. From here, I want to get cos, I want to get s. Abi? So what do I get here? I'll have cos x being equal to what? Minus 3. This will come down minus 3, Abi. So to get x here, I'll take the cos inverse of minus 3. So I have x here being equal to, if I take cos here, it becomes cos inverse of minus 3. Please. What's the cos inverse of minus 3? What do you have there? What's the cos inverse of minus 3? What do we have? Cos inverse of minus 3. Shift and cos. Then minus 3. Or perhaps can use 3. Cos inverse of 3. What's it giving you? Material. Huh? Material, Abby. So it means that there's no value for x here. So, math error, no value for x here. So, you now go back to this one now. Now there are two roots. So, this one is not giving value. Is, there's no value for x here. So, go back to this one now. For this one, I'll have 2 cos x. Are we there? Let me split it this way. 2 cos x, are we? Minus 1 equal to 0. Take this man here. becomes 2 cos x equal to what? 1. Take minus 1 here. becomes plus 1. Divide here by 2 by 2. This cancel this, are I have that cos x equal to what? Half. Take cos here becomes x is equal to what? Cos inverse of half. Please, what's my answer? What's x? What's x? What's x here? Yeah? Should give you something in value. 60, Abby. Oh, very good. That's 60. All right. Listen up. When I did, I'm looking for x here. Observe that at the end of the day, cos inverse of minus 3 will give math error. So I don't have any value here. So leave it. Go back to this one. So we fly this way. My cos inverse of half is what? 60 RB? 60 as my value. Now, mind you, this is not my answer. This is my final answer. Observe that this cos now, the answer is positive RB. In your quadrant, if I draw my quadrant this way, my quadrant this way, we said, Everything is positive here. Yeah? No sign, cos, tan, positive here. Yeah? 
Yes, sign, only sign is positive. Yeah, only time is positive. Yeah, only cost is positive. Now, I'll ask myself that where is cost positive in this quadrant? Cost is positive in what? In the fourth quadrant. I would now. You know, we say we are all student taste coffee, right? All um, students taste um, coffee. It means that only cost is positive here. Yeah? Only time positive here. Yeah? Only signs positive here. Yeah? All means both sign, cost and time are positive. That's the concept. So, um, so, so far I'm having cost. I take cost of of this one. I have this TRD. It means that cost is a positive, positive answer. So, where is cost positive here yeah? at first quadrant? For well, first quadrant, the angle there is what? 360 minus theta. Are we there? So go and, go and bring out this. I'll have that. This is my S1 value. Let's get S2. That becomes what there? 360 minus what? What's theta? That's the angle here. Yeah? That's 60. So S2 equal to what? 300 degrees. So for this, um, for this uh, equation now, I have that the value for S is equal to what and what please um 60 degrees and what there and 300 degrees so this becomes your answer to this um, particular um, problem so this becomes how to solve this particular problem using the concept of um trigonometry equations so see you in our next class